Or the question is that this House do adjourn. The Honourable Member for North, North Island Powell River. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, on January the 29th, when I asked the Minister of Fisheries and Oceans if the Liberal government was committed to keeping the Comox Marine Communications and Traffic Services Centre open, his answer was, and I quote, through modern technology, we've been able to ensure that no communication gaps will be in place and still maintain that safety. Well, Mr. Speaker, that didn't answer my question. Will the Parliamentary Secretary tell us right now, today, what the government intends to do with Comox MCTS Centre? People on the ground, experts, and mariners are telling us that it is irresponsible for the Liberals to continue with this Conservative plan. This plan includes no risk assessment and absolutely no consultation with stakeholders. It was a bad plan. Is the Cabinet Minister's decision-making process going to undergo the same shortfalls? On this side of the House, the NDP has worked tirelessly to keep the Comox MCTS Coast Guard Station open. I'm proud to bring this issue back to Ottawa and make sure the safety of our coastal waters and the public is not at risk. The NDP proposed to study this potential closure at the Standing Committee on Fisheries and Oceans, and I'm very happy to hear that the committee has agreed. Will the Liberal government now consult with stakeholders? Will they conduct risk assessments associated with the potential closure? Will they wait for the Committee on Fisheries and Oceans report before making a decision? Mr. Speaker, there is a fallacy in the Minister's talking points that needs to be addressed. The modern technology is not new technology. It's not working properly and there are gaps. How can the Minister claim there are no gaps when we know just last Thursday, Prince Rupert had a short outage. Over the weekend, the Coast Guard's newly modernized Victoria MCTS Centre suffered a radio and radar outage, leaving the Strait of Georgia, Howe Sound and Vancouver Harbour unprotected. Under the Liberal cuts, both Prince Rupert and Victoria would be the two remaining centres serving all of British Columbians. Does he realise that lives are at risk? It is beyond belief. The audio gaps is not the only problem. The audio quality of the new technology is worse than the 30-year-old technology. Can the Parliamentary Secretary tell us if the Minister or himself has had the opportunity to listen to the echo effect? It is inaudible. What about May Days? Now inaudible May Days. The Liberals are ensuring that the Canadian Coast Guard is blind and deaf. When will the Minister stop the planned closure of the Comox Centre? The Honourable Secretary Parliamentary, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Fisheries and Oceans of the Canadian Coast Guard. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The maritime centres of the Coast Guard provide as monitoring services, distress services, maritime security, and disseminate uh, information such as weather and warnings about dangers to navigation. They also filter ships that come into Canadian waters. The Canadian Coast Guard has modernized its technology and brought together its uh, communication centers throughout the country. Because of advancements in leading-edge technology for controlling communications, these centers are more reliable and help officers provide essential security monitoring more effectively. The measures used by these centers remain the same, but now benefit from 21st century communications technology. The new equipment has replaced 1980s technology, which was more and more difficult to maintain because of its age. The Coast Guard has modernized 11 centers and the new centers are functioning properly. Even though the number of centers has been reduced, the staff 
benefits from better service to Canadians and to navigators and spend less time maintaining the system. The staff of these centers is qualified and competent and is on site permanently year round. These officers are highly trained at the Coast Guard College in an exhaustive program. The physical location of the centers does not have the same importance because there's radar, radio, and other equipment and systems providing information. Officers also receive local information in par as part of their training. The modernization and grouping of these centers has allowed the Coast Guard to put in place search and rescue and communications for maritime security that is worthy of the 21st century and in keeping with that of developed countries. The modernization of these centers is comparable from going from a dial phone to a smartphone. This new technology is crucial for maintaining service. All aspects have been vigorously tested and experts in the Coast Guard are uh, do trust this service to provide safe service to navigators and Canadians. Transparency and marine safety, I am pleased that the Standing Committee on Fisheries and Ocean has signaled their intention to study the planned consolidation of the MCDS Comox Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.